house we grew up in. In Catasauqua? Uh-huh, and it says forever home. Oh, see, that's that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it, and, and you know, I am always afraid to hang things on the wall because if you give me a hammer and a nail, disaster. Yeah, uh, hanging a picture is actually not an easy do-it-yourself job. It requires tools to do it properly, usually, but I'm gonna show you something that really is unique. These are called high and mighties. We give you a 32 piece variety pack. Yeah, some of these are upside down, I agree. Uh, you're gonna get 24 of them that will hold 20 pounds in drywall. Then you're gonna get eight of them, which are the bigger ones, that will actually hold 40 pounds. And the way that they work is very, very simple. You can put these in with your thumb. All you do is you create enough pressure and you'll push them in. Uh, I'm gonna bring my guest in as well to say hello. Megan Elizabeth has been bringing us great household items for many, many years. We've got a videotape that'll show some of this and we'll do it live as well. And then we'll, we'll say hello. Megan, how are you? Good to see you. I'm so good, Dan. Happy New Year. Thanks Happy so New much Year. for having me in. These are my favorite thing, especially if you wanna get your home organized and a little bit more refreshed and a bright new space for the new year. These don't require any tools. They are just a simple place, push and hang 20 or 40 pounds of weight. Like you mentioned, I'm just gonna bring it over to my drywall. I'll hang one right now. We're just gonna figure out where we wanna place it, push it in with our thumb till it's flush in the wall and we're good to go to hang any type of home decor, whether it be the sawtooth or the wire hangers, whether it's clocks, wreaths, uh, shelves, you name it, you're able to hang it with the high and mighty drywall hooks in no time at all. That took seconds. Yeah, we, I know you did a video earlier. Let me throw to that yeah. and then we'll come back and we'll play. Awesome. I can't wait to show you just how easy it is to hang the high and mighty 40 or 20 pound drywall hooks. Absolutely no tools required and it's so easy. You just place, push and you're ready to hang up to 40 or 20 pounds of weight into your drywall. So I'm going to show you how simple it is. We're going to come over to my wall and I'm just going to find exactly where I want to place this and I'm just going to press it in with my thumb or the palm of my hand until it's flush against my drywall. Now this one's ready to hold up to 40 pounds of weight and this 30 pound steel chalkboard is ready to go right onto the hook and I know it's secure on my drywall walls. Now I'll show you with my 20 pound hook, we can hang clocks and pictures, whatever artwork we wanna hang around our home, just place and push it all the way flush against the drywall. And it's that easy to be decorating your home, just place, push and hang. Yeah, it, it really is a smarter way than working with a hammer and nail. And by the way, the two holes that it does make are, are very small. It's That's bent true. in such a way that there's actually a curvature to, I call them the teeth, yeah. and they, they bend downwards. So what it does is it creates additional force and pressure to be able to hold 20 pounds for these. The big ones will hold 40 pounds. That's a That's lot right. of weight. Normally, you would have to find the stud or the wooden member behind the, the drywall and go into that to be able to make something that stable. With these, you don't. Smart idea, right. and I like that you gave us a big set. Really well done. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic, Dan. I mean, they really are just so simple. You saw how easy we hung. If you want to take a closer look in studio there, when you held that up, you could see on the top, there's a little hook on the top and a little one on the bottom as well. Yep. That lower hook is for your wire hangers, and that top one is for those salties. So if you want to hang something like a shadow box, you're just pressing it into that drywall where you want it. I have a wire on the back of the shadow box, and I'm just going to glide it on the wall till it grabs that hook, and I'm, I'm set. I'm ready to hold 20 to 40 pounds of weight depending on which hook I'm using. Yep. And it's just so awesome because they are so easy to just place in and there's that great look of that because you can really see, you know, it's a strong, sturdy steel that's going to hold. And they're only leaving pinhole sizes behind that you can fill with toothpaste. So if you're renting or in a college dorm or all yep. kinds of different things that you're using or you're like me and you just want to change out your home decor with the seasons, it's easy to do with high and mighty because they're reusable. You can pull them out with something as simple as a butter knife or just a spatula. It's so simple to be able to do. And even on this board that I have over here, I'm able to just over and over and over, press, 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 place, 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 without any effort at 
all. Yeah. And if you look here, Dan, I know you can see them in the studio too, but they just leave pinholes behind. You're not putting these giant anchors into the wall, trying to find studs, trying to, um, you know, get out the power tools. You're just using the thumb or the palm of your hand to really press it into place and you're good to go. Well, I've, I've got to give kudos and respect to the individual who rethought how to do it. Again, mm -hmm. a, a regular nail may not hold this much weight unless you're going into a framing member or a stud. With this, you don't have to. And no tools are required to go ahead and put, their, their little motto on the back is called place, push, and hang. And we, right. we're giving you an opportunity to stock up. You're going to get a total of 32 pieces. 24 of them are gonna be the 20 pound holding strength and then eight of them are going to be 40 pound holding strength and the only difference is the size of the unit the, mm -hmm. the ones that hold the 40 pounds are just a little bit different configuration but absolutely right. brilliant design brilliant design and we're giving you four little blister packs so you just cut out what you need get the project right. done in a matter of a few seconds and move on to something else Smart. And that's what's so great about it. It saves you so much time. It saves you from putting giant holes in the wall, finding yep. tools. My husband does get nervous still, even though I've been a DIYer for years. If I right. pull out the power tool, he's like, wait, what's going on? Don't do that. So I can come up to my walls in absolute ease, just placing it in. It does take just a little push, yep. palm of your hand, your thumb, whatever would work for you. And then you're ready to hang. This is a heavy steel chalkboard. I love my steel chalkboards in my home, but I want to know that it's going to stay there. I've had a mirror crash and burn on me already because it wasn't anchored to the wall well. I don't have to have that worry with these high and mighty drywall hooks. They go right into your drywall with ease. If you're having any bit of a trouble, if you're trying to get in on like a drywall seam, you can use a little rubber mallet to push it in if you just need that little extra oomph. But typically you're going to find on your, your traditional walls, you're just going to place it where you want yep. it and push it in with your thumb, and that's easy. You, you've heard this term before, global supply chain. We have we had not seen these on the Air Megan since yep. August. Yep. And they just finally while. came back into our inventory. Uh, I would have loved to have had these on before Christmas for holiday decorating mm -hmm. and hanging things up. But we've got a lot of projects that we're doing this time of year as well. Megan, always yep. good to see you. Thank you so very good much to you. for joining Thank Pat you, and myself Dan. on a Sunday morning. Great to see you. Be well, be healthy. All right, Dana, we got the encore presentation up.